Thank Good you. to have you. All right, a special aviation program uh, is helping young women become certified drone pilots. How cool is that? Elizabeth Alvarez is live at the Elementary Institute of Science. Good morning, Liz. Hi, good morning, you guys. So we've got several drones here in front of us. This is Ariel, by the way. Ariel Montoya, she is uh, one of the students that is part of this unique program. It's called Girls Take Flight. So Ariel, you are learning how to take flight. Uh, you're learning all about drones yeah. and uh, even possibly becoming a drone pilot. And I'm like, I'm afraid to touch these drones. Look at them. Some of them are really big. You got medium sized ones, you got the smaller ones, and you actually know a thing or two about this. This is the remote, is that right? Yes. What, explain, explain to me what this is. Well, this one connects to this one. And these are the joysticks. And in the back, you have like certain switch that you just hold on to like the kill one the kill switch you just hold it down and it'll stop and we also work with this one right now which is the one that we're learning this is a heavy duty one my god is, is this a medium-sized drone i mean is like, how we would describe yeah. it we built them from just the parts and connected the wires and instead of you know having it already like um stay steady itself we have to actually learn them manually that way you know if we own our drone after this internship, we can know how to do it manually in case something malfunctions and we can bring it back to us and nobody gets hurt. Hold the phone. So did you hear that? She, not only is she learning about how to operate these drones, but she is learning to construct them, how to build them. This is fascinating, Mike. And what first got you started or interested in the world of drones? Well, my dad, he owned his own drone and got his own license. So watching him do it, like, really inspired me to, like, do it myself, too. And he kind of, like made me want to get into like mm -hmm. drones and when I saw the flyer and my teacher was talking about it in class it really made me want to go. And this is your teacher at Morris High School because yes. she's a Morris High School junior now, you're a junior and so she became interested, you became interested in this program. You, I guess at one point you came to an assembly, you did a camp and here you are enrolled in this Girls Take Flight program, a program that now uh, reaches out to teenage girls like Ariel and they teach you what you need to know about drones, building them and possibly even being FAA certified, a certified drone pilot, which kind of blew me away, Ariel, because I had no idea that this was even a full-fledged career. I think most people at home probably are now becoming more aware that is this is an actual career. You can, you can get hired after you're 16 and you're certified, right? They're really used everywhere. Like, my career that I want to pursue is you know, law enforcement and something in law, and you can use drones. They use it for the, you know, the Las Vegas shooting that happened. Those were drone pictures, and that's something I want to do, you know? Good for you. Thank you for introducing and teaching me a little bit about this world. This is fantastic. We're going to be hanging out here with Ariel, uh, learning more about this program. Thank you, Ariel. Right now, I want to bring Jim Stone into the conversation. Jim Stone is the executive director of the Elementary Institute of Science. Boy, uh, I mean, I'm just really taken back by how... how these young women are in this program. They are amazing. Yeah, they're they're doing cool things and they're cool girls, and we're excited to have them here. And and we think that, you know, whether or not they become professional drone people later in life, this is just a great experience for them. And it's teaching them more than about drones. They're learning all aspects of science. They're going to learn some biology. They're going to learn some physics. They're going to learn some electronics. So it's it's really a broad program. This is fantastic. One of many programs, by the way, that the Elementary Institute of Science. Um, implements. There are many other programs. You guys have been around for about 50 years? We've been here since 1964. We have all kinds of programs. Right now we're super busy with summer camp. Mm -hmm. Anybody out there is looking to spend a, have their kids spend a week doing all kinds of hands-on fun science, this is the place to do it. All right. Well, thanks for letting us be here and kind of crash one of the courses. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be hanging out with Ariel. She's going to show me some more about how to build, how to uh, fly these 
drones. And we'll also talk more in depth about becoming an FAA certified drone pilot. Just let that sink in. That is a career now. A lot of companies hire drone pilots. You got federal, federal jobs. You can work for Intel, law enforcement, like Ariel has the desire to do. So uh, much more ahead on this, you guys. We'll send it back to you for now in the studio. Yeah, and in a couple of years, you'll be a drone pilot because that's where it's going. Yeah, they're critical yeah. in a mm -hmm. lot of different areas now for All companies. Right. Thanks, Liz. Thanks very much, Liz.